Uh, everyone knows Rugged Elmer. It's you know, it's got its mana denial package. It's got its soft counter spells. It's got the eight cantrips, lightning bolts. I played two dismembers because I didn't want to get bodied by Gurmag Angler. It's just more removal against like Baleful Strix. So <clears throat> Yes, we are playing the inferior Delver deck, but I just woke up this morning and I wanted to smack people with Tarmogoyfs and I wanted to I wanted to stifle people. This hand is... All right. We're not going to go Trop, Hold Up, Stifle. We're going to go... We're going to play a Delver. <clears throat> this hand's actually not that great. I mean, we might get into a situation where we can, like, Stifle them and then Wasteland them, which not, we're not going to be able to do against the red deck. Simeon Spirit Guide. Chalice of the Void. All right. Well, both teams played hard. No. So which one of these great cards that I have should I cast? Play that in case we hit a Tarmac Wife, but we're pretty much dead at this point. Gross. All right, we're going to take... One more draw step to find a target life, and then we're going to pack it up and move on to the second game. Blue Delta. All right, I yield. I yield, opponent. Both teams tried hard, but we know what's going on now. So we've got Hydro Blast. Um, that's kind of it. I couldn't play, like, Rough Tumble. Um deal with like the stupid tokens sulfur elemental because I can cast it cards that I'm not really interested in, not really interested in dismember or sylvan library though if my if we ever like I don't know if we ever land a library we don't get blood moon we can just like draw eight cards and then it's you know not really a problem as long as we keep our head above water I definitely want this. I think I'm going to cut this. I don't think I'm going to worry about boarding these in. The library seems actually kind of decent. But maybe that's just shenanigans. Plus Storm doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the library in. Because I don't have anything else to sideboard. <clears throat> Who would like to play first? Uh, once again... We have like a pretty solid hand. If we even if we get chaliced on one, we can play Tarmogoyf on two. I think I'm gonna keep this and I'm not gonna play the goose on one. I'm just gonna go fetch land pass. Put a mulligan's five. I play I kept this one primarily because we can fish for like eight cards off of a a brainstorm. And even if we do get Chalice, we have a Tarmogoyf. All right, I am going to brainstorm at the end of the turn, though. Because, like, if I hit a Spell Pierce, then I want to hold up Spell Pierce and play Goose. Okay, so now we hit a Daze and a Ponder. So it doesn't really matter. We probably want to shuffle away one land. And now, because we hit uh, Daze... I think I'm just going to play the Tarmogoyf. Just get our boy down. Gives us the biggest chance. If we get to daze something this turn, we'll likely be able to hit really hard next turn. Okay, like that. Let's hope that we don't get mooned. We're going to judge all your plays harshly. Do it. Okay, so now I kind of want to ponder and just look for interaction, and then I can fetch one of my cards away. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I kind of want to brainstorm for a wasteland, knowing that I can shuffle like this and this way. So let's go like this. 
All right, we didn't find a wasteland. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're just going to attack and pass. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're just going to dig for a force of will, or two dazes. All right, so we hit a force. We don't want this land. We don't want, we probably want the land more than we want the stifle. So let's go like this. The land's going to let us cantrip, do a bunch of stuff. And I'm probably going to pitch the Stifle. I don't think the Stifle is going to do anything here. Thanks, my voice, big. So start off by attacking. And then I'm going to crack the fetch land before I ponder. Because I've got an, like, I, I don't want to see the card that's underneath there. I don't think the Stifle does anything for me here. All right, there's the Wasteland. So we'll go, we'll stack it like this. No. Oh, shoot. I, I made my Tarmogoyf one bigger. Oh, I already played my land. Shit. All over the place. Now I don't want any of my cards. But all right, we'll just play this. Um, let's not compound my mistake here, because I could hit a Daze as the third card down. So this is still a two-turn clog. No, I want the bolt. I want access to the bolt to be able to kill a blocker. So it doesn't really matter at this point, but I'm going to draw the bolt. So we're going to go put the Delver, Bolt, Stifle, and then pass here. Yeah, see, I already, I already messed up there. What do we got? You got a Chandra me? Chandra doesn't do anything. Right, that likely doesn't really do anything. So if I bolt this, attack them for eight, stifle the next Karn activation, I should be in good shape. Bolt, attack, five, that puts them to eight. They're still dead next turn. I actually could just attack my opponent with both of them. Play my Wasteland. Play my Stifle. Play my Wasteland and then pass. Stifle the activation. Bolt them and they're dead. I didn't play this game very well. It's a little loosey-goosey from me. Reveal the top two cards. I'm just going to stifle this. Like, whatever. Let's just make it sure they, didn't, they don't get out of it. The stifles weren't that good in this game. So, man, I'm going to look to sideboard those out. I probably should board in... I'm so stupid. I should board my Ancient Grudges in. Blah. Ancient Tomb. Because now we can get browned by like an Ensnaring Bridge. Alright, so they're just going to clear out my Goose. So I'm going to just yield. Yield until next end step. Bolt you. Alright. Wow, Moto is like super laggy tonight. I'm like on the hard internet here. We're still tweaking out. All right. Let's wake up. Because we want, we obviously want these. The stifles were really bad. So I actually think I'm going to board out my stifles. Because they don't have like fetch lands. Even if it's just for like, 
Like, I don't think this card's that good, but I think it's better than Stifle. The only thing Stifle's going to do is, like, counter a Karn activation after, after seeing it. Maybe I just want another Dismember to be able to deal with all their morons. The libraries aren't very good, but if I get the library down and I have, like, any sort of pressure on the board, I can just draw eight to hit every counter spell in my deck. Yeah, I'm going to try this. Again, I don't really know exactly what's going on here. All right, we have the old double wasteland heater. All right, we'll keep this. We're going to want our second land, so... I think we're pondering on turn one here. Uh, probably Trump. All right, we don't want any of these. Okay. So I can days or uh, days and force. I don't want to land my Sylvan Library next turn, but the problem is, is if they pitch a City and Spirit Guide, I would feel so stupid doing this. I kind of want to force this so that I can play the library and have days up next turn. Because, like, if they kept seven and they don't have uh, Chalice on turn one, then their hand must be pretty stacked. Which makes me think if I daze this, they're going to Simeon Spirit Guide me. And I'm so behind here that I'm just going to force this and land my... This is all I have going on. This makes a Tarmogoy for the live draw as well. And I don't know if that's right to do, but... It is the situation that I am in. Chalice for one. Okay, you got it. And we can beat that. We have four Tarmogoyfs. And we're going to daze that. Yeah, we're going to daze that while we can. They have two Ancient Tombs. Like, they could, again, Seeming Spear guide me here. Okay. So now I feel I didn't play around it last turn. So, okay. Yes. Uh, we're just going to pay... I might as well put on top, put on top, play this and pass, and then I'll fetch next turn. I could have played this like a jack wagon. I mean, I'm just supposed to say if you have the Simeon Spirit Guide, you have it. Okay, we can beat that. So before they go to combat... So we have two grudges and four goifs. And our opponent only has two cards. Might as well get another trop. Okay. Again, I think wasting them off six mana doesn't matter. So we're going to put this on top. Put this on top. Play a fetch land and pass. Go on, show me Tom Goyf. Again, if the chalice wasn't in play, I would just be drawing a million cards. That's bad. That's going to kill me. You can have Ancient Tomb. The Goose is not doing super good right now. Critosphere, all right. So we're going to fetch. So we can look at some new cards. Man, Moto is so laggy. All right, well, there's part of the equation. Yes. All right, now we're going to go put on top. Pay for life, keep in hand. I probably have to just keep both of these in hand and go down to three, which is what I'm going to do because we need to look at new cards. It is not. 
I'm a little bit, I'm kind of off modern until we hear about the banned and restricted. Because it's like I think I think it's I'm gonna end up playing modern in the SEG, but it's like it's probably gonna change a little bit. Like decks that are propped up by KCI are gonna get like humans is likely going to get better because humans got beat up by KCI. Oh, they put, they put the Legion War Boss in their hand. I'll just eat the War Boss or eat the token. It has to attack. Our best draw is a second Tunnel Life or an Ancient Grudge. Uh, well, that's part of the equation. All right, there's another Tunnel Life, so. <clears throat> I probably just attack my opponent here. Yo, this library was sweet. They did have been that wasn't so much to say what it would be. I don't know. They're revealing with Karn. Alright, you can have a mountain. I don't think they'll unban anything. Wow. Just too good. So I think I played I think I I I played myself into a position that might not have been I'm actually gonna try to restart Moto here. Because I don't know what is going on with Moto. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I'm sorry we're having these difficulties here. He should have made a dude for sure, but I'm not sure that him making a dude wins in the game. Because he's just so far behind. Like, even if he makes a dude, he's double abyss. And he's in the same position next turn. So, that gives him a draw to, like, maybe Hazret. I don't know. Maybe if he's got a card like that, he has access to. I mean, he had the Scab Berserker. I don't know. I definitely think that... I don't, Maybe they were just playing not to loot, like, going for it. You know what I mean? They should have made dudes as soon as he played Karn. That was the mistake. Like, should have gone Karn, make creatures. And my light's all messed up. We're loading back up here. All right, let's open this league. Like I don't mind that. I don't mind what they did. Um, yeah, he, he basically triple stone rained himself. I like this deck a lot. I don't think it's very good. I actually kind of, so I've been playing a lot of Legacy lately. I, I kind of wrote about what I thought of the, I've been playing four decks a lot. This is one of them. Um, I played this one. I played Death Shadow. I played Grixis Delver. And um, I played Grixis Delver. And... Uh, what was I going to say? Death Shadow. I kind of talked about here. What I thought. I think that the Grixis Delver deck is like really good. Uh, I don't think I can keep this hand. I don't have a cantrip. If I had a cantrip, I'd keep this. But if I don't hit a second land, then I'm not doing anything. Oh, it's so good against. What do I got? I've got 17. I've only. Got, well, I guess I only have. 18 minus 1 is 17, minus 4 is 13. I have 13 hits, and then I have 8 cantrips. So I really only have 21 hits out of 53 cards. All right, this hand's pretty good. Pretty threat dense. I mean, we're going to put this on top, but we're going to go get a Delver. We're going to play Delver on one anyways. And we're going to get a Trop to do it. I mean, we still could just get like the nut draw of like Delver, Days Your First Spell, Flip Delver, Wasteland you. Well, 
Let's just like that's you know that's our that's our draw off. We we can get it. Or you know we can get wastelanded out of this game. Like please play an ether vial. Okay. All right, so playing as a Dark Depths deck. I don't think these matchups are very good. But my opponent already is down to four cards. We have a Wasteland, which is pretty good. So we flip this Delver. Like, we, we need to flip Delver and then play a land. It's just take my days, I think. Flip Delver, then draw a land. That's what we have to do. Huh. I guess we draw a land if the goose is bad as well. All right, come on. All right, that's a pretty good one to flip to. Maybe there's an argument to maybe not even playing that land. And like saving it to wasteland something relevant. But I guess if we draw a land, we want to play Tarnwork next turn. I thought about playing like a tar fire in this deck. Just something to make Tarmogoyf a little better. Because like Tarmogoyf used to be yeah, you can do this, sure. Tarmogoyf used to be like the end all beat all beater. And it's just not anymore. Um I probably should I probably should waste this right now. Because if I let them untap, they can waste it and then crop rotation. I mean, I can untap first, but, like, I probably should waste this before they can crop rotate it away. At least that's what I think is good to do. All right, there's our Borg. No, oh, we're dead. We're dead. <clears throat> the old abrupt decay. Uncounterable. Yep. Take your pick. If we hit a land, like, we're kind of doing something. Oh, they played their library. It's a, not a bad last card to have. Come on. Their library is better than our library. Because theirs is in play. Or they're just going to... There's no way they just take eight. I should have put a submerge in my board and I forgot to. Bob. All right, Bob. I don't think my opponent has enough cards that cost stuff in their deck in order to get us here. They can also set it up with uh, a library, which is pretty sweet. I'll we'll take about one more draw step and probably, probably call it. I likely don't have that many outs right now, anyways. Vampire Hex Mage. God, put me out of my misery. I'm just going to draw a land here and then ponder into like three Tarmogoyfs. All right, we're good. I, I yield. I'm not exactly dead, but we're, we're close enough to dead. Okay, so Sylvan Library. I really don't have a lot for this matchup, which is not good. Because I can't imagine this matchup's that good. 
Um, probably can cut Dismember, cut one of them. Yeah, I should have played like a Submerge, but I just forgot to do that. I could play like a Flusterstorm. Maybe Flusterstorm's better than Dismember. It probably is. I think in matchups like this, you want to like be able to board out Tongloif. I don't know. I don't think this is a this is that great of a matchup for Delta decks. But the the black ones at least have Diabolic Edict, which is nice. I could have played like a Dead Gone. I, like I said, I just kind of threw this sideboard together here. I played cards that I wanted to play. How's the chat doing tonight? Yeah, I think, and also I think I think they're gonna get rid of KCI on Monday, and I've got to think about how that affects my sideboard, and how that messes, changes my deck. I don't think like it does kind of stink that the the Death Shadow is good against KCI. God, we have another one of those like one landers, no cantrips. Yeah, I just can't keep this. All right, this hand's pretty good. I will put that on top. This is one of those hands where my opponent's gonna have to like play something really good for me today's on turn one. Because like, I really want to just jam this library. Especially with our Delver flipping. Yeah, we're gonna let ace this. All right, Delver flips. Delver attacks. Now I could cantrip, or I could hold up like lightning bolt to hit Bob, and then play library, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, I don't have a counter spell, but the things that I want to counter are probably like abrupt decay right now, and I can't do that. That's me in stage. Play Bob. Okay. Play Bob. Okay. Yield until next time step. All right, we draw. Goif is good, but I think that we. Goif's a big clock. Goyf makes this a two-turn clock. Yeah. I want to play Tom Goyf. That gives me another threat on the board just in case my opponent. Um... All right. Deal. Like, you got one draw step. That's being stage. They can still crop rotate into it. Now they play Bob. Okay, double Bob. That's a nice draw. Okay. They have threes in their deck. That Wasteland probably ices it. Oh wow, they drew Dark Depths. So how does this work? I have to waste in response to the Dark Depths. 
right, in response to it copying. At least I think that's how that works. I don't know. It's my only out here. I know that I know it's weird, like where you can't you can't like let it resolve and then wasteland it. All right, that still doesn't do it. Because you just don't have enough mana, you don't have an herbory. That'd be nice to get. Um Yes, I just ship. Because they're going to do this before blocks. Okay. So we didn't even have time for the library, which is kind of sad. So let's board in another Fluster Storm. They can at least counter a discard spell, probably. Get rid of this crap. I could bring in Grudge just to smack a diamond. Which seems better than the library. Uh, more remove more removal is probably just better than all the other stuff. Just being able to kill things. Yeah, so let's get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get rid of one of them. Now the fluster the dismember is probably better than the fluster storm. If we're at 20 and they attack us with merit leech, we can dismember it and live a turn. All right, I think we're going to keep this. It's a little sketchy, but I don't really think we can mulligan hands like this. You know, we have all the manipulation we need. We have a wasteland. We're definitely going to ponder on one. Play the board and the thought season. So it's like, again, they can take my Tarn Wife. But that's whatever. I could just like days would be nice. Force is also very nice because now that they go like dark depths into hex mage, we can force it. All right, yield yield until next turn step. So we find a one mana threat. I'm gonna waste this Urborg and then move to my next step and play it. If we don't, I'm just gonna jam this Tom Wife. Because this can easily, this like smells like an abrupt decay. You gonna know, give me priority, bud, or what's going on? Let's brainstorm. All right, we found a one mana threat. So we should put, the problem is we can't flip our Delver without getting a little sketchy here. But I think that's gonna be okay. I could just go double Delver now. But if I go double Delver, yeah, no, I have to go Delver Wasteland. So let's put this force back. Let's put the brainstorm back. So they discard me out with the brainstorm. So we're gonna go like this. And this. We're gonna draw the Delver. Now oh, they're just fetching now. We're not gonna get wasted. Okay. Waste this. Um, I hate when I do shit like this. Well, now I just gotta force this. I basically just like three for two myself. But I, what I, what I didn't want to do there was play my Delver, 
and get my Delver. Uh, oh, Abrupt Decay. That's why I, I did that. It didn't really end up working for me. And if my opponent doesn't do anything here, I'm just going to play, I'm going to flip this Delver, play the Valk, and then play Goyf. So I'd like to get the pressure on the board. If I can get the pressure on the board, then I can brainstorm next turn and figure it out. They have a wasteland. All right. This flips. That's good for us. I, I, I will take them wastelanding us all day. I'm gonna play the Valk because I want. If they waste me again, I want. I want this green source because that means if we hit any other land, we can cast on the life. Uh, I'm gonna brainstorm. I just want to like set myself up here. If they have it, they have it. All right, we didn't really hit. Which is a little unfortunate. So now I can play. The goose is loose, and it's just the same amount of power as Tarmogoyf. So I'm just gonna ponder, and then play Goyf. Oh, well now I'm not going to play Goyf. I'm just going to attack, and then I'm going to waste them on their upkeep. So they're going to have another crop rotation, then we get that. At least make them use the, the mana on their turn. Okay. Oh, there's another reward. Yeah, you got it, man. And we're fetching no matter what next turn. So, like, we're going to give away the information, but, you know, having a dead card, drawing another dead card isn't something we want to do either. I think we have another tr we have another trop in the deck. We have trop trop, so we have our, our third trop we can still fetch. And now lightning bolt to live draw. Um my opponent has to go like land. And let's go dark depths into vampire hex mage. Well, there's Dark Depths. And there's Hex Mage. Oh, rip. Should I do it? Okay. Into a Delta. So now we just pass. And I have to brainstorm into double. Uh, double bolt next turn. That's how we get out of this. Well, now we're dead. Because they just block with Bob. Any order? Yes. All right. Well, I mean, we don't. Have, I don't think we have an out, but it, which is a deck building um, mistake on my part. Like I should have. Uh, I just forgot to have something like a submerge in my deck. I just don't have a way to deal with the twenty twenty. But 
Let me move back to this deck here. I want to play another league, but we'll just make a mental note here. We can get this crap out of here. Um, probably can cut this. And then I don't know how many, I don't know if two submerges is too many. But like, let me just put two in there just for a placeholder. So if your opponent controls a forest, you control an island. Okay. I guess it's also nice that that's pretty good against like, uh, oh, I have to, I could just get these cards. How much are these? Then maybe we can just, for the next league, just have them. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go get. I'm gonna go get two submerges. I'm gonna try it. It's gonna be like Knight of the Rosary decks, which is pretty bad matchups, and it's good against the Turbo decks. It's good against lands. Sorry for the delay. I'm just gonna try it one more time. It's not really good against. It's good against the Rug Mirror, but like that's not the card. That's not really that popular. Card hoarder. Where are you, card hoarder? All right. Let's just get this off the credit. I appreciate you all waiting, hanging on here. Okay, so submerge. All right, we got them. Let's go play in the league. I lost a Delver Mirror. This is my other loss in this this uh this matchup. I lost to a Bug Delver deck, which had like Abrupt Decay. Which Abrupt Decay was just such a beating. I had like Abrupt Decay and Tomb Stalker. Which Tomb Stalker is thick. It's hard to play the mirror with this deck, because like I feel like I don't have any trumps. I don't have like a true name. You know, like I could play true name, but like I kinda Whenever I play this deck, I always want to play like on the least amount of mana as possible. I don't want to play like that mid-rangey game. All right, we're gonna keep this. It's pretty solid against everything. So I'm gonna play the Delver on one. Um, we have a force. If they go like Ancient Tomb, you know, Show and Tell, Duder with the backup, and like good on them. But I think we gotta get get this this little boy in play. So the first thing we have to do is kill them. Okay. All right, you got it. So I'm kind of happy we have the Sylvan Library now that we've seen what we're playing against. Spell Pierce, get rid of the Spell Pierce, get rid of this. Always get rid of this Trop. So I think we're playing against like the Check Pile deck, and I don't think Spell Pierce is that good against this deck. Though I could just get rid of the force. Yeah, let's get rid of the force in this. See if I can snap off a counter spell here. Or snap off a land. My fetch land probably gives away what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're playing against the Phoenix deck.
Hmm. They got it. That's like a good play. Like the, the the foothills gave it away, and they saw it. Like that's a, that's a good play from our opponent. All right, I'm gonna hit this with a spell pierce. My opponent has three cards. I think we're just gonna jam this. We kind of have to, like, we're in enough trouble here where I think we kind of got to have to hope that my opponent stalls out a little bit here. Okay, they stalled out a little bit. This is likely going to be a take eight kind of thing. So let's go. Alright, there's the goose. Um, we're gonna draw this. We're gonna draw the trot because I don't want them to take both of my bolts. So let's go like this. Mana denial. God, please crack your fetch land. Please crack your fetch land. Please crack your fetch land. Want it. Buried alive. Oh. I'm going to daze this. Then hit this land here. And I go to fetch. Get in my face. Stifle. Man, that feels good. All right, we're going to put... I can't really pay A again, 8 again, but I am going to pay... I'll put this on top, too, because they know we have a lightning bolt. So if they get to flashback a therapy, then... They flashback therapy, they can see what we're, what we're working on here. And I'll just bolt them. So we'll get one new card. All right, I think I have to start clearing some of these. So I'm going to put on, I'm going to pay for that to keep in my hand, and I'm going to put this on top. Crack in. I can't keep looking at one card a turn. I'm going to bolt my opponent at the end of the turn, I think. Because we only have one red source. It's a good one. A little unfortunate that we kind of missed a little bit. Didn't find a new way to get stuff off this library. Well, you. Probably going to hold the second bolt in case I need to deal with a phoenix. They knew I had that, so there's not much surprise there. Predict. No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah, you can predict. They get card advantage out of this, but maybe they can mill a Phoenix, which would be nice for them. Mill the Tar and drew two cards, okay. Right, we're gonna put on top. 
put on top. <clears throat> I think that looting. I think looting should go. Like looting doesn't really do anything good for the format, in my opinion. Dark ritual. Okay, we let this go. We have to hit the discard outlet. That sucks. We're going to be buried alive. And we're just screwed now. If they have it. If they have it, we're dead. So let's just bolt them. Because we can't. I guess we could have. No, because they were just taken. No, I've messed up. Because they take this, go get buried alive, get triple phoenix. Uh, now we're just. Now I screwed the pooch. Yeah, I, I punted right there. I screwed the pooch here because I could have bolted a phoenix. If I had bolted a phoenix, then I had another turn. Maybe I should have forced. Oh, there's a pyromancer. Okay. They go to cast therapy. I'm gonna dismember this, but I punted right here. This was stupid. All right, all right, bolt me. We know our top card's a fetch land. And one other card that's not very good. So again, we just need to hope that our opponent doesn't doesn't just get us. The nice thing for us is that we turn off their therapies because they have to block. Like unless they hit lightning bolt. So there's untapped red source. Buried alive kills me. In fact, their paying cost is not good. <coughs> Tombstalker. All right. I mean, a lightning bolt. Yes. Nope. Tilt. Uh, just look at the chat history. Played some merge. I did. I played some merge. I just made a video on Reddit. For streaming life challenge on Sunday. What did you play on Sunday? <clears throat> so against this deck, Flusterstorm is probably okay. The Surgicals are probably very good as well, but I don't know exactly how good they are. Uh, okay. The library was kind of nice. I like how the library just sits there and doesn't do anything. Let's get these out of here. They have Tombstalker where we'll leave in some of our forces. We're not playing like a super fair deck though. I don't think the spell stat is that good. There's a couple more card. Maybe it's one of these because at heart they're they're kind of a fair deck, and I don't want that many deck cards. I'm gonna do this. Just turn a little bit. I went I went five and two in the challenge last weekend. I played I played Grixis Delver. I just wanted to play this today. This hand's not very good because they're they're the Phoenix deck. Yeah. Um not a million. Those hands pretty solid against Cabal Therapy. We could just rely on the top like I'd love to turn one Delver into a cantrip. If we find a brainstorm, like we're in really good shape. And it's not like they're gonna turn one kill. I'm gonna keep this. Cause like 
at the heart of their they're a fair deck, and I do just want to play a threat on turn one. And we have a cantrip to kind of help us out here. And it's like, worst comes to worst, we're going to cantrip and have two bodies on the board. Okay, they're doing that to fetch. Blip, yes, to an extraction. All right, I'm going to ponder, because then we can use our fetch lands to see how many cards we want to keep out of it. We don't want any of these. Tilt. All right, we gotta get this goose loose because we need to get this goose loose. So we have to draw. We have to draw a brainstorm. At least we're gonna make them like fair us out. You know, like they're not gonna cheese us. Baleful strikes would suck. Okay. Our goose is slowly getting loose. We'll have three six. We could we could do it next turn. That was a nice top deck. Okay, you got it. I need to be wary of Tombstalker. Like, maybe I can use this Surgical to, like, mess with a Tombstalker a little bit. Because, like, I could snipe two Deltas if that becomes something that's going on. Nice. One, two, three, four. Okay. You get a brainstorm. Lightning bolt off the top would be sick. Lightning bolt will probably just kill our opponent. Now, here's a big question. We snipe these two, four, then they can only delve one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tombstalker costs eight. Um, I feel like they have a Tombstalker. Because they wouldn't have made their plays thinking they could get Phoenixes. Alright. YOLO. This also enables... There it is. Oh my god, my brain is big. They can bolt my thing and Tombstalker me next turn, which isn't good. But this at least buys us a turn. It makes the bolt legal. At least bolt, bolt is lethal. No, you can't delve. You got it. All right, ponder. Oh my god, what they have? Nothing. Bolt you. 
There we go. I'm pretty hyped up about that one. That one was nice. You can go delve yourself. All right. Um, I should have these disc members in. I should be an adult. Spell Pierce is going to be worse than the draw. Probably my, my whole mana denial thing is going to be worse than the draw. So let's cut a couple stifles. Why don't I just cut all my stifles? Looks like they're playing around them. Snipe, let's snipe some cantrips. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that one. It's okay. We've delved on one with the days to back it up. And we've got a wasteland. A couple other things to do. We're going to get a green or a blue red land. We could have kept all of our interaction and trimmed on some Tarmog Waves, which was probably right to do because of how poor it is against True Name Nemesis. All right, rip Nimble Mongoose. Or how poor it is against Young Pyromancer. It's also poor against True Name Nemesis, but. Dude, don't do it, you son of a bitch. Alright. Counter everything. We're gonna waste them. So I'll probably play Nimble Mongoose next turn. Kind of puts the shields down, but there's not really too much we can do. Man, what's this goose? If this goose sticks, we've got a pretty solid... Maybe I should have played the goose because... Um, because my opponent could have bolted it. But like, I, I'm going to get red... I, should, I had to get red mana with my hand anyway. That's Tombstalker. Okay. Tombstalker's all right. Because we can go Dismember plus Blast. We get wrecked by Flusterstorm. Um, we're just going to get him for one. I want to be able to Blast a Cantrip. I'll bolt my opponent into the turn, probably. Yeah, like... Get that out of here. Yeah, we couldn't beat that, unfortunately. Rainstorm. Play that out. I probably shouldn't have played that land. Did they have Phoenixes in after Cyborg last game? Yeah, I did. Get rid of that. Give me a Tarmac Wave. It's alright, we'll take it. Yep, you got it. See what they do with this. Chose to not shuffle. Come on, baby. Flip me a Delver. Wasteland. No. Fetch. We don't want that. Um, 
they don't have any wastelands. We have more red spells than green spells. Well, actually, we have a lot of green spells left in our deck. I guess we're going to get another trot. That's not a bad one. Give me Goyf. Like that, so that we can. I hope I stacked that right. I don't remember if I did or not. I really hope I stacked that right. I'm gonna feel stupid if I didn't. Stack it right. Yes. Uh, I think we're just gonna wait. I kind of want all of these because, like. All of these spells help me worse comes to worse. Like the Force protects Delver. The Surgical pr protects from like an Arclight Phoenix. Like all my, I'll brainstorm on my next turn. But I just kind of want to protect everything. I don't know, I still don't really want to. I'm not I'm not gonna we're just gonna hold. This also gives me some help against uh Pyromancer. Alright. Okay. All right, we're going to let that resolve. Get that out of here. So that's the first spell. First spell. They know that we have... Um, surgical, so I'm just going to pierce this, so they can't go like Cabal Therapy into Buried Alive. Like so Cabal Therapy hit this into Buried Alive. Play this, now we're going to play a Nimble Mongoose. And we have lethal on the table. I really like playing this deck. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, that's a problem. And my top card is a land. Oh, man. We've got two bolts left in the deck. And one di and no dismembers left. Not blocking this thing. Okay. That's not a good draw. Tomb Stalker is thick. No. Okay. All right, ponder away. I kind of want the goose, but I don't want anything else. OK. 
Because the goose makes it so we only need one lightning bolt to kill our opponent. Well, that's not true. Because... Because... Uh, because they're going to shrink this insectile aberration. We have a bunch of Tarmoys left. So we're still okay. We have to fetch in our upkeep. Doesn't do it. Play this so that we can force something. Oh, we're running out of time. Could have forced that. Maybe I should have. Storm count is one, so Fluster Storm isn't. Fluster Storm's not really gonna get me anyways. Oh, they're rolling down. Oh, I should have surgical there. I should have surgical. That was a pun. It's okay. We'll, we'll just hard cast force this. If they fluster storm, we'll let all the fluster storm copies resolve and then we'll daze it. Okay. Okay, Daisy the Arclight Phoenix. So we've got two Lux that just win us the game here. Not gonna play that until I have one more creature to play to stay ahead of Liliana. Very lives are last card. What do they got? They've got pretty much only a very few amount of cards that matter. And they can't flash it back, because they flash it back, then then they're in trouble. They plus on here. Now, the problem is they're just going to take it. So let's do this because they're going to plus on this. And then if we draw a bolt, we're in good shape. Alright, you got it. So do another dud. Alright, that plays. So 
So even if they block out next turn, we have them over two turns as long as they don't draw, if they don't hit anything. Because they go like block here, block, they go like block here, block here, take four. Plus on this again. I guess then they just block here and then go to one. So we still don't. No, because one of these lands. So we just turn them all sideways next turn. Because they eat Tarmogoyf, take here, take four, and there's another three attackers. So now we have to, we're just going to attack with everybody. And just hope they didn't hit something. So if they eat Tarmogoyf, turn off all the yields. They take four and go to two. And then we play another one. And if any if any one of our three power creatures gets in, we win. And they have to shrink a delver, play a blocker, and then hope my other delver doesn't or they can they can eat a delver, play a blocker, and still be in good shape. It's like they have to roll Liliana down and then pray my Delver doesn't flip, I think. If they bricked. Was the only they have four cards in their hand and one's a buried alive. We just died to one of their lightning bolts, but that's that is life. Come on. Come on. Okay, so they're going to roll down. They're going to put uh, uh, whatever in their graveyard and then go get it. And if they don't have a removal spell, they're dead to a Delver Flip. Which there's one there, they just flipped a removal spell. So you're dead to a flipped Delver. If you don't have anything. Okay, no. So block, block. I mean, we're just attacking with everything because they go block, block. Even if they have a cantrip, we still eat and we're in the same position next turn. I should have surgical this dude. I always I forget, keep forgetting to do that. I should have surgical away the pyromancer in response to Liliana. I keep forgetting that. It was such a pun. But I guess I'm dead. I'm dead to the that then. Okay, so they're in the same spot, except now they're one life point lower. So they need to draw like a spell for young pyromancer and a yeah. If you get young pyromancer, have a spell for young pyromancer, and then they're in good shape. My god, this has been like the most one of the more stressful games of magic. Okay. Again, we can't surgical because this will kill us. We have to hope that they break down the spell. Or if we if we hit a spell, if we can find some way to play the board, it's also good for us. But if our opponent hit like a brainstorm, then we're we're in a lot of trouble. 
And this has been a stressful first match of the league. Uh, we just flip to a lightning bolt. That would be sweet. We have two and twenty-seven. We've got three ponders and two brainstorms left. So we have like seven really good hits. We've also got three gooses. We have we have one goose, three goifs. And one Delver. So that's 5, 12. We have like 12 out of 27 is really good. A Force of Will would be nice. Um, we've got one. We have one Force of Will. Two, three Force of Wills. So we've got like half of, over half of our deck is pretty good hits. Predict. Okay. That makes our outs a little worse. Okay, they missed with their fluster storm. We're slowly getting to bolt or die territory. Because they're going to get to play another thing here. Okay, and they're just doing that to make another token. All right, so now it looks like we're going to need a bolt. Okay, they're going for it. All right. Flip Delver. Come on, baby. No. No. Oh, man. Fardell would have flipped there. What was the next card? Oh. Yeah, we had a daze. Oh, man. That's a tough one to lose. So close. My opponent found a way though. Like they they worked hard. <clears throat> Man. That's a tough one to lose. I like grinding to try to find a way to make it so that worked. Alright, we're gonna keep this hand. It's not great, but we have a lot of cantrips. To find a threat. I'm going to just snap a Wasteland off on that. Because, like, I'm going to guess we're playing against Miracles and we're not going to get many chances to hit lands. All right, basic Planes. All right, we drew our super solid card. Um, let me get Trop. And we're just going to play this library just because the library should be a pretty solid threat here. Basic, them playing a basic planes is kind of telling. Okay, I guess it's not that telling. Will force a stone forge mystic here. Huh. 
probably pitch pond or we're gonna get the card selection from this. And I want to be able to force back. And the like the spell snare is probably gonna be pretty decent later. Nothing from the opponent is gasoline. Ready the old take eight routine. Yes. Pay for life. Pay for life. Probably can just play Tarmogoyf and pass. We gained a bunch of life, which is more cards off Sylvan Library, so we're probably just going to go with that, let that go. But that's just another one whole another card off the of library, which is what we're looking for. That can get out of here. All right, we're gonna do the take eight routine again. All right, let's look for a way to counter another Trinity Nemesis. All right, there's another, there's more goose, more of the geese. All right, let's just play, play Delver, play goose. Don't have another true name. Nice. Yes. Put on top. Put on top. Get in there. Ponder. Looking for bolts or counter spells now. Oh. Yes. All these are pretty solid, but we're going to put put on top Put on top. Turn off auto yields. What is going on here? All right, we probably can just pass now. My opponent is dead next turn. Probably dead through a true name. I can float a red. They're pondering instead of doing this the right way. Okay. Could have flashed back a plot. I mean, they know I have days, so I guess they know that it wouldn't work, but you might as well still do it, right? All right, let's fetch and brainstorm. Looking for lightning bolts. All right. Probably no need to increase the storm count, but I think that's going to happen anyway. So let's just untap. Let's use the library. Mm -hmm. 
bolt this, attack them, bolt them again, and then we'll be in good shape. And we're going to bolt them right now because we can't get fluster stormed. And then bolt you. <coughs> Got it. Okay, so usually it's these blue-white decks. I don't really like Wasteland, but I don't know if their deck's different. Like, they might play more basics than the average one. So let's, we want this library. We want Flusterstorm, and we want Pyroblast. I kind of like going like this. Because, like, so then if we do that, the only thing, like, Stifle doesn't do anything. So maybe we just board. Because like when I play Grixis Delver, I like to cut all my wastelands against the blue-white decks. But maybe I should be cutting, like, Spell Pierce seems pretty poor on the draw. Stifle seems pretty poor on the draw. Maybe we can cut, like, one wasteland. All right, we're going to get more aggressive on the play. I guess I can cut Dismember, because they're not like a Monastery Mentor deck, more than likely. All right, this hand's pretty solid. We'll keep this. We can ponder and then daze a, uh, whatever it is, a Stoneforge Mystic. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. I've been fun playing this deck. I don't really know how good this deck is, but I but I, I do have a lot of fun playing it. We're going to get... Um, no, nice. So it doesn't really matter. I guess we should not... Sh like, this is, gives away less information. I think it's just a shuffle. Pretty aggressive start. Though we have to get our Tarmor Wife into play, and it has to like live. It's gonna feel pretty stupid if my opponent fetches a blue-white duel here, but all right. So now we have Blast. It's like a true name. I think I'm actually going to daze the true name because I can blast a Jace or I can blast a true name next turn. I think our lands are getting set back to the Stone Age here, but we're not going to play the Goose because we want to be able to take care of a true name nemesis. Counter target spell if it's blue. Well, hang on. I'm actually just going to do this on my turn. I'm going to go untap and do it so that I don't get like fluster stormed. And I'm just going to destroy it. And then. They fetch. They fluster storm. No, we spell pierce. Okay. And then they just have two more, like.
Now they only have two cards. So we don't want one of them to be a true name. Stoneforge Mystic is not good. Hopefully they go get an Umazawa's Jerget and not a Batter Skull. Alright, at least my Tarmogoy is bigger than the Jerget or the Batter Skull. Nice. And they can't, well, I guess, I guess that's not true. Gorth down. So they brainstorm the batter skull away, probably. Maybe I should, I probably should have boarded in my ancient grudges now that I think about it. This is a Stoneforge Mystic deck. I'm going to do that. I'm going to board out more Wastelands. This deck is horrible, but God, is it fun. I agree. This is like one of my favorite decks to play, Brandon. Counterbalance. All right, we're going to bolt our opponent, see if there's a see what's on top. All right, we're not going to play our Nimble Mongoose. There's a Brainstorm on top. Yes, I agree with that statement. We're going to respond to a brainstorm with our own brainstorm here. So the batter skulls has to be the top card. <clears throat> you have to just like claw for everything when you play this deck. Like it's it's fun. Like the stress is fun, but man, do you have to work? A little spell pierce. Like you're just fighting for every single inch. It's not like Grixis where you can just play like a true name nemesis. And it's like, okay. Or, you know, young if, if somebody doesn't untap, if you get to untap with a young pyromancer. Um, what can I hit? I can hit like Tarmogoyf. I still need to find like Pyroblast. So let's use this. Hopefully I didn't stack another one on there. Wow, they didn't use it. Nice. Now I want to brainstorm. I guess we're drawing this dismember. So let's put this underneath this. Play Delver. And then just like hope my opponent doesn't have a Supreme Verdict in the top couple cards. I don't really think we're beating a Supreme Verdict really at any point in this game. But honestly, I hope they just slam this Batter Skull. I'm going to dismember the Batter Skull. Then crack for six. And hopefully find something. And just hope that's good enough. Please play your Batter Skull. All right, flip. All right. I'm going to cast the Ponder first, see what the top card is. No, that's just stupid. I guess it's not stupid. We have to we have to get rid of this thing. Stoneforge Mystic. That's not good. I 
I think next time I'm going to board out more, um, I'm going to board out more, uh, uh, wastelands. But I only boarded out one. When I play Grixis, I board them all out. But that's because I'm not, I'm also like not on the stifle plan. Gross. I guess I couldn't even encounter the Stoneforge Mystic. They jammed there because we know they have Spell Pierce. Well, we get the little Delver that could. Well, now they're still going to have their Stoneforge Mystic. All right, it's just a land. So then hand Stoneforge Mystic Spell Pierce, I think. But we need a hot one on top of our deck, because this means they play, they play Mystic. Go get Jurgit. And then they can play the Jit. Fetch. Come on. Um, that kind of plays. Like maybe they might um, equip the Batter Skull instead of the Jet, which would be wild. If they go to equip the Jet, I'm just going to concede. Because I don't think I've shown them a Stifle. No way. All right, man. Oh, this means they get the Spell Pierce back on their deck. Back and right. They're going to flip the Spell Pierce. Unless they shuffle the Spell Pierce away. Okay. I, I yield. We tried. I feel like we fought really well there. All right, I'm stupid. So we're going to get this. Um, I still don't think I actually want many of these Wastelands. But I kind of want more stifles in the play. I'm gonna try this. I cut all of my, I cut all of my uh, wastelands against uh, when I play rug. When I play Grixis, I cut them all, and I still have like true names and Lilianas in my deck. Spell Pierce is probably decent as well. The problem is, is that their creatures are the cards that kill me. So I kind of want to be able to fight over their creatures. I would like to play first. This hand has no cantrips, but it's got everything else we need. So hopefully we hit a cantrip or land. I'm probably going to Fluster Storm a Cantrip. I want to save the Blast for True Name. I think we just play Tomaloif. The problem with just playing Tomaloif is that, like, I'm a little priced. Like, if they go planes, um, planes like plow, I'm pretty priced into forcing it, I think. Doing all right, bud? Billy Boy just burped. Yeah, so I feel like I have to force this. We're just like, oh, we gotta just hope now. All right. 
So now, if my opponent lands a Stoneforge Mystic, I can stifle it. All right, there's a goose. We're doing it. So I'm just going to stifle this trigger. There's Bolt in this, I'm swinging for six, and we're just hoping. Wow, that was a nice draw. I really want to hold Pyroblast. So I think I'm just going to attack with Harmogloyf. Because I want to be able to Pyroblast like a true name nemesis. If not, end of turn, I'll Bolt. The Snapcaster. Have to unfortunately let that one go. Because like, I don't think I, I just have to not get too true named. Or like Snapcaster it again. All right, down goes Tarmoloif. But we still have the Goose. Really hope there's a Sylvan Library on top of my deck. So I can trade both, have both of them out. But I think I'm just going to play Tarmoloif and attack next turn. So I can attack with Bolt, they go to double lock, Bolt 1, get them both off of there, and just kind of hope that they don't have anything. That's not good. If they go get a Jurgit, okay, they got a Batter Skull. All right, at least Goyf is larger than that now. Start with this. All right. I think we bolt this. Then they're going to play play the Batter Skull. We dismember. Oh, God. Well, now I'm in trouble. I guess we can stifle the batter skull trigger. Oh, that still doesn't still doesn't do anything for me. I have to like dismember and then push damage. The problem is that this Now I've made a mistake about taking too long that I can't bluff that I have a lightning bolt either. I dismember Snapcaster Mage and attack. 
then I'm browned to the living weapon. I think I have to shuffle. Okay. There's no point. I should just dismember this. Crack. If they block here, we have a chance to rip Lightning Bolt. Man, we're going to lose two just gut wrenchers. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. At least, I mean, honestly, I think Jace is probably better than Batter Skull at this point. Put a card on top. Because now I get a bunch of looks. Add lightning bolt. They're brainstorming. Ugh. Man, is it tough to slog with these decks. With this deck here. All right, play your batter skull. Same thing. Fumazawa's Jurget. Here, you'll land Jigget. You'll land. Okay. All right. We got three bolts. Yes. Okay, grudge grudge keeps me in it. So pay for life. Put on top because that's not doing anything for me. Just enough to hold on. I have to make sure to fetch before the library. And like with the grudge, we don't even we're not even really worried about the second batter the batter skull. So basically, it's whether my opponent finds a counter spell for lightning bolt. That's what we're looking for. All right, there's a goose. If I take eight, no, I can't do that. Uh, put on top. All right, any order, yes. Uh, oh shoot, I did that wrong. God damn it. Now the goose isn't doing anything for me. I can't even like threaten to hit this. Yeah, I punched in there. I, I just pondered with the wrong land. Alright. No. Yeah, I deserve that one. It'll be interesting to see what I would have gotten if I. All right, get your thing in there. This must mean that they have another one, because another counter spell. Because they would have just let that resolve, I think. All 
We could have a Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Go to one. Now they should definitely put me to one. Should attack with a Stoneforge Mystic. Make it so I can't crack a fetch land. Okay. Are they really going to do Violent and Sword of Fire and Ice? All right. That one's not good. All right. Bolt you. Come on! I'm gonna feel stupid if they're just doing this to fluster storm it, and I could have saved myself a mana by not playing the goose. Well, nope, they plowed their own thing. Yeah. <clears throat> GG's opponent. G G's, man, those were some tough games. These two matches have been really tough. I've been on the wrong side of both of them. They have been intense. <clears throat> this is what I'm working on. I think that I'm going to play this in the Modern Challenge this weekend. The Legacy Challenge. I'm going to have to work with the numbers a little bit, but I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to do. I really been liking this version. I don't know if I want to play that many. Uh, if I want to play the Cage or Three Surgicals. Or if I want to play like one more sweeper somewhere. Because I don't know if I need the dismember. If I have the edict. And if I can play like either a second casualties or like an electricery. I don't know. But probably a second casualties because I want to be able to kill uh kill Gurmag. Not um Kill true notices for my opponent. But I think I think this is what I'm gonna play in the challenge this weekend. <clears throat> I just want to throw some hands with some throw some uh stifles back at people. I said one of those days at work where I just like I just wanted to get people. See spickle. Means we're probably in for one here. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. You got it. I think this is Clay Spickle Lair. Who's a better magic player than I am. Took my goose. We probably knew that was going to happen. I'm just going to waste them here. I could have, like, I guess I could have pondered, but. Oh, someone is waiting. With the, he probably has true name nemesis in his deck, so we're pretty okay with. 
Um, so I actually kind of want, I don't want to draw this typo yet. We're actually okay with him dazing us, him wasting us, because we, we would rather play, like if we're going to play the game on a leaner aspect, I would rather do that than, than not. All right, just scoops it up. Let's just didn't hit any lands. All right, so in the Delver Mirror, I don't have very good cards. I have two blasts. All right, so cards that aren't going to be that great on the draw. Like it's likely that my stifles are going to be a little worse than the draw. I like to keep dazes in play or draw. I kind of want to bring in another library because the game's going to go long. I kind of want a sideboard like this. Like maybe Rough Tumble is worth bringing in because of Young Pyromancer. Like maybe it's better than a Force. Also, if you bring in libraries and they get countered, then it makes Karmagoyf be able to fight through Gurmag Angler. I'm going to try this. I know that maybe, like, when I play Grixis, I don't like keeping my forces in, but I think that I have to play a game on a much lower, um, on a much smaller, uh, lesser resources in order to be able to beat this version of the deck. All right, I'm going to keep this. We have plenty of lands. We have a wasteland. We have a cantrip, two removal spells. Kind of like everything I want in the, the old Delver Mirror. And again, we have enough lands. Oh, well, we have a lot of lands, but I'm just going to waste them. I know we're behind here, but we can just kind of put them to the test early. Okay, no flip. Whoa, whoa, turn off all yields. Okay. He only kept he kept one land. That's so odd. You don't keep one land mirrors, one land hands in a Delver mirror. Like that's just asking for it. So I don't, I kind of, like, part of me wants to blast that, but I really don't want to get whacked by a true main nemesis. Um, I guess we want to keep, we want to draw the Wasteland. Because we don't want to discard spell us and take our goose. Could be in trouble to like a young pyromancer. And now all we need is a brainstorm, and we probably have this game locked up. Oh, I appreciate it there, uh, Marilyn. Marilyn Wong, Marilyn Wong. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm going to play one more land because we're likely going to want one to complete a brainstorm, but besides that, we could get wrecked by a Gurmag Angler here. Okay, we're not going to get wrecked by a Gurmag Angler. I'm gonna play more Shadow after Monday. I think I think that will likely be bans. So all right, you got it.
Yeah, here comes Germag Angler. Getting nasty with Germasty. As soon as we get back priority, I'm going to dismember this. All right, nice. We don't even have to crack our fetch land to get threshold. Gross. All right, we don't want this Delver, but we do want the Tarmal Wife. We'll blast probably close to anything now that we hit the Tarmal Wife. All right. And my opponent, they just got Delver. Like I think, I think they probably kept a pretty poor hand, and then just got beat in the mirror. We'll be right back. I'm gonna grab something to drink. All right, I would like to play first. I will keep this hand. I'm going to fetch a um a blue uh a Valk in order to disguise these stifles a little bit. Because if we just fetch a, uh, if we fetch a blue green and play Delver, a Trop and play Delver, then like they're gonna know what's up. And we need to draw. I mean, we're gonna feel stupid if we draw a a Valk for a natural Valk, but what are you gonna do? All right, nice. Probably will uh, dismember and then um, waste them. Or waste first, so they can't even daze the dismember. It is kind of, it is a little scary going to such low life total against like basically the blue red burn deck, but we're way ahead on the board. And then hopefully that our, hopefully our, uh, um, there's a spear. So I think I want to waste them and then hold up stifle. And then I'll brainstorm next turn, or brainstorm at the end of my turn to look for a uh, maybe a natural land drop next turn. Jk, get stifled. My God, that is so rewarding. It's borderline therapeutic to just stifle someone. Holy shnikes. It's like it's like team or battle raging someone. You can play this big old boy. Jose, I just want to play lands. We're just crashing in with both creatures. Then we're going to play Goose and hold up. Uh, 
hold up force of will. Because <clears throat> right now, as it stands, if either two of our creatures connect next turn, our opponent's dead. Got mana denied. I will pay for your days. I guess it makes another mana for them. Okay. They're still double chumping. And they're going to one. I did decide to attack with everything opponent. Okay. So against the blue red burn deck. Dismember is kind of scary, but we probably need it. Stifle's gonna be worse on the draw. They have to control forest. Rough tumble is not that great. Fluster storm is like kind of decent. I don't really like I don't really like the soft counters very much in these mirrors because like you just have to tap out every turn. Then again, we don't really have anything. So all right, we'll keep it. Again, maybe we can like wasteland them out of the game. Again. <clears throat> Got a old basic land from our opponent. I don't think I want to play into days. I think I'm just gonna go fetch land pass. Give ourselves the opponent the uh, give ourselves the option to stifle one of our opponent's lands here. Like they're gonna be able to counter this, yes, but it's just gonna make it so they it's gonna make things a little more difficult on them. So we want to get a trop into stifle. And then if, if this is a, um, okay, you got it. And then if they get a duel here, which they probably will get a duel, we can play our Nimble Mongoose, and then we can uh, Wasteland them. But it's like we got a card, our Stifle got a card. It didn't get a land, which is what we like it when it does, but we got a card out of them. Which is just what we're trying to do. Just trading cards. They're thinking about it. They're gonna get a basic or not? They gotta get a basic. Okay. I mean, good on them. Like, but like, I guess in a two-color deck, you can afford to do that. Have to ponder. And again, if we get to fight them and then they don't add to the board, but we do, we're just winning that exchange. They want to double days the goose. They can double days the goose. You got it. You got it.
So I'm actually going to counter this because I can then untap Brainstorm. Can it double daze me? I do lose my ability to waste them. Oh, they just conceded after that. Okay. They probably didn't realize what I was doing. All right, we're going for the 3 2. Hopefully we can get there. We need to play Rug Delver for a night and and up two treasure chests after I'm I'm pretty happy. All right, we'll keep this. We have a little bit of disruption, some heavy hitters. Again, we're going to go Pluto Delta into Vault. We're not going to give up what we're doing quite yet. Dazing that. Again, let's not give up what we're doing. Snapcaster Mage Ponder, okay. I think I'm just going to play Tarwolf. Like, I could get Library in now, but and the, this is susceptible to like a, a Jace minus. They have to have Jace plus Force of Will blue card and the land, so they have to have four out of the six. That's to be good. Which kind of looks like it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to force this. And then we're going to smack and play another Goyf. Then we need a brainstorm like nobody's business. <clears throat> we're like Wastelands. Like, this is a tough matchup to win, I think, without... Without being able to disrupt their mana base because their spells are just so good. Attack with Tarn Life. Nothing. Does that mean you have a Jace? I think that means they have Jace. And they like didn't want to play into days. You got a Strix. Yikes. <clears throat> Old Baleful Strix. Lightning Bolt. I don't think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to wait because if my opponent plays a Jace, tries to bounce a Gloyf, I can stifle the ability, and then we get we get a bunch of new looks at more cards here. Okay. So we try to bounce Goyf. 
Colonel Infecto as well. I should have stifled that because this means a Baleful Strix is coming. Ooh, that was stupid. Really need a lightning bolt. Alright, Goose isn't bad. Pay for life to keep in hand. Pay for life to keep in hand. Ugh. I guess we're just going to attack Jace and then play a Goose. We're gonna lose one of our. We're gonna lose a Tarmogoyf. But now we can go get a trop and then add to the board. And this library, it's not really gonna keep up with Jace, but it can help. Bolt that. Snapcaster Mage. Bolt that. Yeah, you got it. Don't have quite enough to beat that. Oh my god, into a Garmack Angler. All right. All right. Put on top. We can. F All right, we can bolt Jace, play Tarmogoyf, and we're in it. All right. So let's get. Let's put this back, and then let's put Delver back. Let's bolt this Jace. And then play a Goyf. And all right, again, we have the biggest thing on the board, but like they this is where their their deck excels. Oh, six seven. Wow. Wow. They brainstorm a lot. Okay. They're rolling back to get baleful strikes. Okay. It's all right. We'll find an answer to that. Put on top, put on top. Let's ponder. Yeah, we got a shuffle. Just play this. <clears throat> The problem with this is, is that even if they trade this Baleful Strix off, oh, they just eat that. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have played that. That was dumb. Made a mistake there. Right, 
Spell pierce this. <clears throat> yeah, I was just, I, I made a mistake there. Yes. We don't have any way to draw cards. They minus, yeah, we're just, we're dead now. It's hard, it's hard to beat this deck if we don't have uh, some mana disruption. Because, like, they just got to develop. And then we were just, like, screwed. Um, I probably just want to cut my forces. Maybe I can actually cut one of my lands. Probably cut, like, a trop. Because our mana's not going to get disrupted. We're going to draw enough lands. Yeah. Maybe it's worth bringing Surgical to bring up their Snapcasters. Okay, we'll keep this hand. All right, so I'm going to blast a Cantrip, or I'm going to brainstorm the end of their turn. Yeah, we're just going to blast this. We're going to waste them. <clears throat> and we're definitely going to brainstorm at the end of their turn because we, we do need to hit a land here. And if we hit a land, we're going to play Goose and hold up spells there because we don't want we want to stop a Baleful Strix from coming down. You gonna force this? Till? All right. This is our plan. We have one more draw step. I guess we can brainstorm again at the end of the turn. To get another look at. Both of these back. Draw one time of life. All right, now we're not going to play the goose because I want to be able to spell snare a uh, or like deal with a him or something like that. Now we play the big man. Again, we're just going to hit this. Wow, they forced that. Okay. All right. All right. Um, probably just put both of these back, shuffle next turn. Get rid of that blue source. Because the Delver's not going to do anything. Okay, Goyf pushed.
I guess I can just draw Delver now. It does kind of let me get, I could get K commanded here. Oh, they had a blue source tilt. Yeah, and no baleful strikes. Gross. Um, I'm gonna draw it, and I'm gonna waste this underground sea. They just barely hit this, so maybe they won't. Like we can cut them off. I don't want to trade this thing off yet. Let's get another trough in case they waste us. That's a good one. You got a force? Nice. This library is going to do work. Flip the bolt. Pay for life, pay for life. Let's get the storm up. Hang on. I have to do this anyway, so let's just make sure that we have enough storm. I don't think I want these. Well, they're pretty good spells. But I think I just want more threats. Like that one. <clears throat> All right. They have a blue source. So likely here comes another bail strike. No, it's just a brainstorm. All right, another Strix is another goose is good. Um, put on top, pay for life. They usually don't play more than like one or two lightning bolts. I should brainstorm. And then just put the max amount of pressure on them. We could get Deluge here, I guess. What's with the smoking jacket? Are you talking about what I have on? My robe. Okay. So my stifles likely get a little worse on the draw. My dazes probably get a little bit worse on the draw. I kind of just want to cut some of these stifles and bring my forces back in. Spell snare's good. Lightning bolt's not that good. Maybe I can cut a couple bolts and keep these stifles. But the lightning bolt kills Belfast Strix. Yeah, we're just gonna keep this in here. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do. I could board out another land. I'm on the draw. Bring in a little land first. I could bring in an ancient grudge just to hit two baleful strikes. 
but I don't know if that's worth it or not. Strix is so is so tough to beat. We'll go like this. How are you doing tonight, Teddy? We played some really good games in this set. Like, a lot of good magic. Alright, we're going to keep this. We have a daze for the turn two Baleful Strix. Gonna get good value out of this uh, this brainstorm. We do have a lot of lands. I should have fetched a trot there. That was a punt. All right. Nope. Flip. Flip the bolt. Not bad. Double basic swamp from them is awkward. Just awkward on that next mana base. I think I'm going to end a turn, end a turn brainstorm because I really want to cast Tarmogoyf next turn. I know this is kind of taboo. But like my mana is pretty tied up. We're just going to jam this library. Like the worst thing that they can do to me is Jace me, and we have a Pyroblast for the Jace. And we're going to draw cards off of the line. Like the library is what we want here. And like this is going to draw a force. Yep. Okay. And they pitch a Brainstorm. I mean, that's not good, but it's beatable. Second one's tough too. Alright, I'm gonna play out. It's like what do I wanna play around? Edict or Jace? Probably probably Jace. Okay. I'm going to bolt one of these. Okay. All right, man. Just six, yeah. This force is not good here. They're digging. They chose to not shuffle. So that probably means they hit a Jays. Snap. Push. Okay. Push down. Now we're probably dead. So 
especially as we get Germag Angler here. <clears throat> now we need Tarmogoyf. It's not quite Tarmogoyf. <coughs> They're brain farm locked. I mean, if we do draw a Tarmac Wife, it is larger than Gurmag Angler if we can get it to live. That's not it. I'm going to have to bolt this in order to get another draw step here. At least if we hit Goyf here, we can protect it. Well, now we're just living on the edge. Oh, Pyroblast is the last card. Now we're just dead. Jace is going to kill us. Whew! Man, we played some fun games. We went three and four.